Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are back again and in the previous episode we got yet another win. We are doing well. A two win streak, well kind of. I died at the start of the first, uh, the, the first run of the second episode so it's kind of a win streak. But anyways, we've unlocked the shotgun. We've got ourselves a few items going and we're going to jump in onto Shard 2. Now we've got lower starting HP and wave runes. Amount of runes that can have multiple enemies, uh, enemy waves, sorry has increased and we've got ourselves tickets tickets once collected can be used on the following and only the following run to modify your start so we get the ticket uh for the key for free every run we can also do our daily and weeklies on here um but yeah we'll grab that and you can see it's signified by the key in the top right and then we'll start our run as i said we are using the shotgun this time we've got morals all relics going forward will be blessed but you get a curse when to oh Damn, that's difficult. Familiar that spawns tiny bees that will attack enemies. Is this energy just called bees? It is. <laughs> so we're going to be cursed. Very cursed. But we have the shotgun. So all is all is right with the world. We also got a double key drop right off the bat. Okay, good. Okay, our little bees are actually doing pretty good work. Okay, and here's the second waves. I'm actually pretty happy with extra waves because it means more soul uh, points. The runs do get a little longer, but not by a ton. And there's our first ticket. There's our first metro ticket. So you don't actually know what it does until you, like, get out into the next run. Let's keep going forward. No secret room as of yet. Obviously, the shotgun comes with a bit of spread and a pretty big range down compared to the normal weapon, but it's still really good. A half heart there as well. Already doing great. Right, do that. So, blessed with plus one HP. Blessed bullets bounce off walls. That's actually pretty bad for the shotgun. Familiar that bounced around the room. Bullets have a chance to stick to enemies and explode shortly after. That sounds really good, but for now, I'm just going to take the Tiki Torch for the plus one HP. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it did work. Increased shot price is unfortunate. I thought it didn't actually give me the HP then, but it did. Okay, I think that's our secret room there. And the tiki, the tiki thing's actually decent. Oh my god, that was a bad hit there. This this thing's in the way. There you go. There's a chest there as well. Thank you, thank you. Didn't quite get enough to heal up, but we did get a shield. Right, let me go and check this wall. Nope. I'm being a lot more vigilant about checking the secret rooms now. But yeah, um, how are you guys enjoying Revita so far, both content-wise and playing it? How many of you out there have actually gone and got yourself Revita? How many of you were playing it before this series even started? It's always good to know. Okay, there's our secret room. There's some bees in this room. Strange. Where we go. We went to the B floor last uh, episode and it was real good. So I'm definitely going to try and go again. So I don't know why bees are spawning naturally here, but they are. Maybe it's because I went to the B floor last run, perhaps. Could be something to do with that. Another shield. Health is looking so good right now. This is what happens though when you get to Shard 2 because there's, there's more enemy waves. So there's more soul available. By the way, we are going to get a lot of cursed enemies soon. Like, and I mean a lot. Because, uh, of course, as you saw, every single item we get is going to give us a curse. Every curse we get increases the amount of cursed enemies. Your dash cooldown gets reduced. Another plus one HP there. Nice. And then the curse we get. Higher chance for mimics. Unfortunate. We'll just have to make sure we shoot all of our chests at least once. 
that oh the spikes got me god damn it oh how did i not get hit there well wow. it was lucky i'll right, we'll try and flawless the boss health is looking just stupendously good um deal damage to enemies by picking up soul deal damage to enemies okay did you know what i'll take that too and what cast do we get your chain increases slower do you know what? I'll also take that. Why not? More shield. Okay. Scary times, but I'm I'm really enjoying moment. Um, what was it called again? I can't remember. I can't remember. Was it like duality or something? Morals is the name. So the shotgun does kill this boss a bit faster, which is nice. It's not like a lot faster, but it is a bit. Also, we've got bees that are going to be attacking from time to time, which is nice. The bees are actually doing good work, to be honest. Like, it's tiny damage, but it's, like, constant. Tiny damage, even when it's like that, is really, really good. Okay, he's angry now. Start doing his thang. Oh, you bastard. I'm so bad at that attack, specifically. He just sits on top of you, and I never know where to move. I'm always a little anxious. It's okay, though. We, we got him. We didn't need the HP from the mentor, so I'm not that bothered. And he gave us two full half hearts, which is really nice. We're going to go the B floor again, because I really liked it last time. Fill up that heart. And we'll see what we want to trade. Do we want to remove anything? I don't think so. Do we want to upgrade anything? Bees will uh, have a less of a cooldown. Tiki, stopwatch. Okay, none of those are really worth upgrading. Actually, do you know what? Let's at least do this one. I think this one's worth it. The rest of them I'm not that bothered about. But let's push forward. We're on to our B floor again. And we absolutely wrecked this floor last time because we had a crazy build, but this time our build isn't so crazy and there's a lot of cursed enemies here, so I don't know how well this will end up going this time around, but we'll try our best. Whoa, what the hell are these things? I never saw these last time. Oh God, they're like the Hollow Knight enemies. Scurry, oh armor, beautiful. The more armor we get, the happier I'm going to be. I think these guys contain other enemies. Yes, they do. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm struggling. We're picking up a lot of soul, though, which is helping us to hurt enemies, I think. I think that's what it's doing. I feel like it said something along those lines. Ah, oh, that was stupid. I'm trying to get, go for the soul whenever I can. So I'm making some mistakes by trying to garner all the soul I possibly can. I also wasted a lot of soul there. Still don't really know what this does. We got a metro ticket here as well. Hmm. Maybe we need fire for that. Oh, we, we had fire. I'm stupid. I should have tried that. Um. Ooh. I think we go for this one. Shot speed plus 10%. Each killed enemy increases your damage for that room. Of course, we'll get a curse for this as well. High cooldown between dashes. Beautiful. Extra damage is lovely. Not really found any secret rooms here, but I'm not really focusing on secret rooms right now, I'll be honest. Jammed guy is pretty difficult. I don't... I need to check. What, what exactly does this do? Deal damage to enemies by picking up souls. Now, how does it deal damage? Does it just do, like, blanket damage to the entire room when I pick up a soul? I think it does. 
I'm not 100% sure, though. Difficult to tell. Got you as well. Okay, these guys shoot too. Remember that. Right. Heal up. I need to remember to be on it with my healing. I'm wasting a lot of soul. Got a chest here. Got Luckily, we've got a good amount of keys. I'm going to take a sip for my drink as well while we're here. One second. Okay, I think this is a mimic. Yeah, it is. I think the mimics have like a blue sparkle on them. Makes them fairly easy to spot. Damn it. But this guy might not drop an item. The cast did say it has, an, has a small chance to not, to not drop items. Which would be sad. But at least we didn't have to trade HP. This dude's hard. What the hell? This dude's really tough. Why does this dude have so much health? <laughs> damn, that was... God damn, that dude was tough as shit. He took away all my shields. Took away all my shields. Good, good. Okay, we're nearing the boss. Okay, cast boy. Little tough, but we got it. Okay, another chest here. Again, could be a mimic. I'll try and point it out a little more clearly this time if it is a mimic. I think. I think it is. You see these blue sparkles? Yeah, it is. And it's a jammed mimic as well. Oh god. Thought that last one had a lot of HP. Damn it. We're probably gonna get hit a few times to this guy, I'll be honest. Okay, we got him. And no item again though. Bit sad. At least you get all soul from them. But it did it did say I'm 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 I'm, I'm even gonna check actually. The curse. And a small chance for them to not drop a relic. Both times they've not dropped relics so far, so I don't know how small that small chance is meant to be. See me a little larger than small though. Or at least what I'd call small. But I don't really care right now. Our HP is very high. I'll take a curse chest. Not only will we get a curse from this, but we'll get a curse from the item too. Both have a chance to charm. Extra damage too. <laughs> I didn't see what curse that was then. Lose HP if you don't defeat enemies quickly enough. That sounds awful. <laughs> okay, so I, I know this guy a little better now after last time, but I don't think the shotgun's a very conducive bit of weaponry to fight this guy effectively, I'll be honest. Well, this is a new attack to me. Doesn't seem that hard of an attack, to be honest. It's telegraphed pretty, pretty easily. Okay, so this is the point where he's doing his mega- Whoa! You bouncy shit! That's way too fast. Wasn't expecting that. This attack you can effectively just stand still for, for the most part. Damn, this attack's hard. To be fair, it's not that bad. It's more your positioning on when he starts the attack that matters. And my positioning all of, all of the times has been bad. We've taken a lot of damage here, but I don't mind because it's HP I'm going to trade away anyways, I think. We've got so much max HP that I think trading away HP is going to be not too bad of an idea. Another Metro card there. A ton of keys. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I really like this extra floor. This B floor is a very cool idea. I'll be coming here as much as I can, really, I think. Okay, familiar that shoots burning bullets. Makes you resistant to spikes. Okay, that's going to give us range. That's going to give us shot speed. I'll take this one. Rooms are filled with darkness. Oh, God. The darkness one can be a little painful. I don't know how good it's going to be for burning bullets, but 
I wonder, okay, no, that's just part of the family synergy. I was wondering, I wonder if the Tiki guy and the, the Sun were a synergy because they're both burning based. Okay, the darkness isn't so bad. It's not great. Shotgun's making this a little more difficult than it has to be. Oh, you, you arced that right over there, you shit. Full HP there, that's brilliant. Okay, we've got some invincible enemies over here. I don't know what the jammed versions of these guys do. Or they're not really jammed, are they? Ow. Jammed guys of them just fire very, very quickly, apparently. I think they just hit more enemies. Okay, I'm actually charm that guy. This is really rough. There is a lot going on and the darkness is not helping. It's gonna be a hard run. But I'm in for it. I'm so in for it. This is a lot of fun. I probably won't win this run. Oh, the spike's there, you bastard. I did find my secret room there. Okay, the charm is pretty useful. <laughs> the charm's pretty useful. Shield is immensely useful, my god. Hello. Combo increases faster. Chance of purchase to be free, gain an additional dash, your bullets have a chance to electrify. Um, and you have a small damage aura. Your bullets have a chance to inflict fear. I'm going to go with that because it increases our damage by 10%. Souls disappear quicker. Not found a rift yet. Rifts normally spawn when you have a lot of curse. They're pretty interesting. They essentially make the entire floor and the boss cursed, but you get a lot of extra rewards. There is just so much shit going on right now. Good. I've gotten pretty good at dodging these guys first. So I think I'm okay. Check this. It could be a mimic again. I don't even know why I'm checking at this point. Probably is. Oh no, this this no, wait, this is a mimic, isn't it? It's not, okay. And, oh, we get triple shot, plus luck. Our fire rate's going to be very slow now, but enemies might show up as silhouettes. Whoop, I accidentally tabbed out, sorry. Okay, our fire rate... Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Our fire rate is god-awful. That was a mistake. I think I'll have to remove that, honestly. It's, like, genuinely awful fire it. Like, goddamn, that's so slow. We get another uh, NPC unlocked here. Nice. Who is it gonna be? Who's this? Thank you, thank you. I don't like small places. And I was afraid I'd be trapped. Left to free. I don't. I do not know who that is. That might be a new NPC. Might just be one that I'm not remembering, or even unlocked on my normal save file. I don't know. Honestly, I've killed myself. This fire rate is ridic. Like this is. I can't shoot. <laughs> I get to fire like once a century. I think I've genuinely killed myself. Like, it doesn't even one-shot things. It doesn't even two-shot things. I, oh my god. It's like literally a year between shots. I thought this would be such a huge improvement to our DPS. No, no, no. I was very, very wrong. We're getting hit like three times a room now. I might just die on this floor. Especially to the boss.
Yeah, this is really, really hard to cope with. Oh my god, I'm kind of just letting my bees do all the work now. <laughs> But yeah, we got to the point where pretty much every single enemy is jammed. It's not quite every single one. We just got a non-jammed one here, look. Some spikes beneath me I didn't see. But it's pretty close. At this point, I'm, I'm literally just letting my bees do most of my work. Die, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Please save me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is stressful. I'm gonna check in here. I wanna buy some armor if I can. Increase rate of fire while moving. Damn it, that's not good enough. I need rate of fire, but rate of fire while moving doesn't help all that much. Especially for 1.5 hearts. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be slow. It's gonna be slow going. It's it's literally like right, one second. Let's just go one, two, three. I, I can fire once every three seconds. Unbelievably slow. It's a slow ass boss fight. I'm going to make sure he doesn't land on me. Second phase, please. There you go. Damn it! I can never escape this attack. I'm sure there's a tip for it. By the way, I pre-record these videos, so I haven't seen comments yet in the first few episodes. But people are leaving me tips. I apologize for not using them. Gotta wait for it to land and dodge towards it. This is taking so long. So long. There you go. Holy hell. This has been an absolute ordeal. The bees. The bees are helping me though. Okay. I'm sorry, triple shot, but you are going in the garbage. You are you are insta gone. There ain't no way I can keep you around. In no way. Right, let's take a sip of my drink. Yeah. Please remove triple shot from me. It needs to be gone. Right, let's have a little look-see. We can go with extra combo. That's pretty good. Extra fire rate. Extra duration. Extra damage there. I think I'm going to go with extra combo speed. 40% faster seems really good. I know that we kind of stay at high combo pretty often. But I still think being able to build it back up because we lose it when we get hit. Or if we lose it if we don't kill enemies quick enough. Oh my god, we can shoot again. It's a miracle. This charm is super useful. Like we're charming enemies basically every other hit. Just to make it, just making it so they don't shoot us is hugely beneficial. Right, another heart complete. Ow, I jumped right into that, didn't I? Right into that. Beautiful. Okay, we do have an invincible -y guy here. Luckily, they're pretty static. I don't, I don't really know how to deal with this little segment of enemies here. I'm just going to kind of let the bees do their job, try and charm them every now and again, 
hope for the best. It kind of works. <laughs> Surprisingly so. Again, I've kind of given up on the secret rooms at this point. I'm too focused on survival. Damn it. Oh, this dude. This dude's attacks are not doing what I thought they would. Oh, lost all the HP there. Landing a critical hit will burn. Makes you immune to knockback if you want. Lets you reroll shop items. Increases fire rate. But, oh, that's so good. But four hearts for that. This late into the game. I'm sorry, Sunshine, but it's not happening. Okay. Just We need to just barrel stuff enemies as much as we can. We're going places. I think we're doing okay. I'll take a chest. Not a mimic. And what the hell's that? Shooting aim will reduce your dash cooldown. It does give us a damage bonus. And of course a curse. Lower aim accuracy. That doesn't actually matter for us, I don't think. We sort of secret we uncovered there. Probably for having so many curses at once. Because we have quite the number right now. Burn, boys. Damn it. Dashed at the wrong timing there. It's okay. It works. And we get a half heart to help us out as well. God, this is this is going reasonably well. <laughs> I'm still very scared, but... I don't know. What do you guys... Uh, do you guys like doing high curse runs? I don't know. I like doing high curse runs on, like, Gungeon stuff. So this, to me, is, like, my bread and butter. What on earth is this enemy? Oh god. Oh god. They spawned them high up. Don't spawn these guys high up. That's evil. And there's you as well. What are you doing? There's been a general nuisance. Give us a mini chest. Give us a mini chest. I need soul. Damn it. Damage up is still really good, but a mini chest would have been a lot better. What in the hell? How? How am I meant to dodge that? The room's so small. Ah! God damn it! Oh my god, I got hit again! I'm getting wrecked. The darkness is horrible. I'm, I'm just not seeing things that come at me. Oh, we got a Celestial Weapon, our first one. Celestial Weapons are very important. Ow! Stop! Holy hell, we're not getting anywhere near enough soul to maintain the amount of damage I'm taking right now. Right, let's get our first Celestial Weapon. These are like old weapons you can use that are incredibly strong. Although we got the weakest one. This one's just a grapple hook. I don't like this one at all. I rarely ever get to use it. Mini rockets. Increased speed of enemy. Oh, that's homing this cell. You bullets um, home. Doesn't really do anything with the shotgun, unfortunately. Right. I think we're going to die to depression here. The run's not good enough. <laughs> We don't have any armor. We've been getting hit a lot. We don't have range either. It's a huge problem when you're fighting this guy. Yeah. Be careful here. Damn it. Oh my god. I could technically try and use my uh, grappling hook to get out of the way of this guy, but I'm not smart enough or good enough to do that.
Okay, be careful, dude. Be careful. Oh my lord, that's just too much. Too much! Oh, I still got hit. <laughs> this boss is so tough. My lord, that boss is hard. Right, I, I have to say, probably gonna die. <laughs> Do you have any things we want to remove here? One second, guys. I am back. I apologize. I got a scam phone call and I kept them on the phone for 30 something minutes. It was hilarious. I told them my name was Bob Scam and they just carried on. <laughs> I was like, that'll surely be the end of it. No, no, no. They were like, hello, Mr. Bob Scam. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Um. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, really? It's gonna go this far? Are you kidding me? Let's go for the full Herming. I don't know if Herming's even that good on the shotgun, but I've never fully upgraded Herming, so I'm gonna try it. But yeah, just so funny. I kept them on the phone for so long. I basically kept them on the phone because I somehow they got past the Bob Scam name thing, which I am just baffled by. Um, yeah, this isn't... This herming isn't that good. <laughs> In fact, it's almost useless. Uh, oh god, that was a bad hit. But yeah, um, I kept them on the phone because I was telling them that I had a like I was telling them a false purse code, and they kept trying to enter it into their system, and obviously it didn't exist. And they they spent ages trying to figure out why it didn't exist, and it's like it's because I gave you a fake one. Like so, the, there's this scam that I keep getting. Like it's the same scam over and over again. It was the same one this time where. They're ringing from Vodafone or 3 Network, any sort of phone company offering me a new SIM card or a new phone or whatever for like less than I'm currently paying. Um, and I always give them the name something scam. This time I gave them the name Bob Scam. Um, and that normally trips them up. This time, nope, that didn't that didn't trigger any warning signs for them. But then they move on to the next step where they ask me like where I live and what I do for a job and stuff, which I don't even know why they need to know, but. Maybe just so they can see how much money they can get out of you. They asked me what I did. I said that I was an investigator of scams and fraud. And they still carried on. I was like, Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It just, yeah. I, I, the stupidity of scammers will never cease to amaze me. They are complete and utter morons. Okay, this is, yeah. This is a lot of crap going on right now. Okay, I think he got away with that just about. Do you know what? Oh, wait, no. They don't have unlimited range. Yeah, let's uh, be careful here. Okay. What? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. This is not going so well. Holy hell. <laughs> my health is not in a good way right now. This has been a fun run, though. Oh, my God. I am almost dead. These rooms have gotten pretty crazy. And I'm dead. <laughs> there you go. Wow, that was a very cursed run. <laughs> Things got a little spicy towards the end there, but goddamn, I had a lot of fun. And we unlocked a lot of secrets too, which is always good. But yeah, um, I will end off the episode here. I will quickly go and see if I can get any other upgrades. So I'll quickly go and check our flower, see if we've got any new things there, and see what else we can afford as well. I fear these chains won't protect us forever. Another flower. More gifts for us. Corrupted rooms. Glass chest. Cursed Choice. We need to unlock Cursed Choice. I'm pretty sure it costs eight, though, and we've got seven right now, so I might need to do some trading. Let me just check. <laughs> I don't know if I can make that. I can't. Um, we got Cursed Choice. Is It is eight. Cursed Ticket. Glass Chests are new. Costs max HP to open, but you can see the contents. That's pretty cool. We also got giant rooms, an ancient giant bound by roots. Corrupted rooms, challenge rooms. 
I'm going to go and quickly do some trading uh, to get the curse choice. Because curse choice, essentially whenever you get a curse, you can choose between two curses. It's super useful. So I'll go over here. We've got the sn sniper. That's a new. That's a new one. Nice. I will get those in the next episode though. So first of all, let's grab you and go 20 of them for one of them. I'll take that deal. And, oh, hello. Oh, this is the person we unlocked, I think. Ah, oh, this is the journal. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Good to have, right. First of all, let's just get rid of all of your new ones. The expansions, curse choice. As you can see, every time you pick up a curse, you get to choose between two curses. It's incredibly powerful, so we'll take that. And we might be able to get some other stuff, actually, if we go over to this dude. We can buy quite, oh, got quite a lot of new stuff here. Um, we can only get two at once, so let's see the two that we want. We want... Constellation sounds interesting, we'll take that. And... Flashlight's pretty good too, we'll take Flashlight. And then I think I might trade some of my currency, you know. I'll stick with the shotgun for now, I like the shotgun. In fact, we'll go SMG for the next run. But let's, uh, let's have a look. 100 for 6, we'll do, let's do that, let's do 100 for 6, and then we'll buy what we can with 6. I really like the currency uh, system now, that's really good. So we'll get... Challenge rooms are great, and we'll go with corrupted rooms as well. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. But yes, we'll end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, a very fun episode of Revita 1.0. Hope you guys are enjoying, and I'll see you guys in the next one.